Today on Cruise Man's Garage, we're installing these super bright 7,000 total lumen LED fog lights onto this 2016 Can-Am Spider F3T. Let's begin by opening the front trunk. Now, let's remove the left side service panel by twisting the knob and pulling it free. Turn the key to the off position and remove the key for now. We're going to remove the small ring around the ignition switch. To do that, you can press on it and twist it to the left about a quarter of a turn and it will lift out. Lift on the back of the switch panel and pull up and towards you and it should release as shown. You may have to wiggle it a little bit to get it around the handlebars. With the panel in this position we can now remove the dummy plug on the right side uh, where the fog light switch will go. Now this particular motorcycle already has a fog light switch installed but we're going to remove it and replace it with the one from Big Bike Parts. Now we're disconnecting the connector from the Can-Am harness but now you'll find this plug, this connector plug here, will be attached to that dummy plug that you remove and just simply press the tab to release it. You'll notice a flat spot in the opening of the fog light switch on the panel and we want to uh, file a little bit of that off to get it as round as possible. Just kind of remove that flat spot so that our switch will fit correctly. Now we're ready to install the fog light switch. Begin by removing the large nut on the back of the switch and slip it over the connector. Now you can install the connector through the opening in the switch panel and press the fog light switch into place until it fits flush with the switch panel. Now you can slip the nut over the connector and attach it to the back of the fog light switch and tighten it. Next, connect the fog light switch connector to the Can-Am fog light harness connector as shown. Now you can slide the switch panel back into position and secure it by reattaching the ignition switch lock ring. Next, we need to remove the left side panel. Now this panel is held in place with four T25 Torx screws and three body clips along the top edge. I'm using a T25 uh, socket attached to a nut driver to remove the four Torx screws that hold the panel in place. I'm doing this first. You can actually do it in any order, uh, but this is just the way I chose to do it. And of course you could use a ratchet handle or any other tool you're comfortable with as long as it's a T25 Torx. The body clips along the top edge can be a little finicky. It's actually better to use a regular pair of pliers on these, but I left mine at home. So I'm using some needle nose pliers to squeeze on the flat edge and then pull up from the center. And once you've pulled that center post out, you can now remove the body clip. Now in some cases you'll pull the center piece out like I did here, but the base will remain. No problem. You can simply reach underneath and push the base up or you can grab the base with the pliers and pull it out separately and then replace the post in the center of the body clip later. Here I'm actually using a small pick to kind of help me pry up uh, the base of one of those body clips so I can remove it. You just want to be careful not to damage the paint. With the bolts and body clips now removed, you can simply work the panel off as shown and set it aside. Locate the left fog light harness and remove the dummy plug from the connector. Using three of the M6 screws included in the kit, mount the left side bracket as shown. Now you insert the screws from the front and then attach the washer and the lock nut from the rear. 
Now you can tighten each one of these bolts using a five millimeter Allen socket or wrench from the front while holding the nut from behind with a 10 millimeter socket or a 10 millimeter wrench. Tighten these firmly. Place one of the fog light housings in the mounting bracket and make sure that the word top is facing upward. Now insert and screw in the 10 millimeter bolts that came inside the housing. There's one on each side. These bolts can later be loosened so that you can adjust the fog light beam. You can tighten these bolts using a 10 millimeter wrench. Now we're ready to install one of the H11 LED bulbs onto the housing. Go ahead and remove the protective foam cover and the label that's wrapped around the heat shield. When installing the bulb into the housing, you twist it to lock it into place. Make sure that it's installed so that after you've locked it into place, the cord is coming out of the bottom. Separate the four heat sinks and spread them apart for maximum cooling. Connect one end of the light harness to the spider connector and the other end to the H11 LED bulb. There's a plus and minus side on one side of the light bulb connector. Make sure the red wire is on the plus side when connected. Here I'm connecting the spider harness to our fog light connector. Now repeat all of the fog light installation steps on the right side of the spider. You can now start your spider and press the fog light switch on the dash panel. Adjust the fog lamps to the desired height and then tighten the 10 millimeter bolts that hold the fog lamps in place. Before reinstalling the body parts, you need to remove the fog light filler panel by removing the torque screw at the bottom. Reinstall the body side panels by replacing the push pin rivets as shown here and then replace the four torque screws on the side of the body panels. The last step is to replace the service panel on each side. Then go out and have a ride and enjoy those super bright LED fog lights.